Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel where today I'll be filming another plus size haul video. This time from Nasty Gal. This is actually my first time shopping on Nasty Gal. I have heard lots about it and I think when it was first around, it, the clothes seemed quite quirky when it was owned by, I should have done my research beforehand. She was on Girl Boss. Uh, I'm gonna say Sophia. And then I want to say Webster, but I think I've made that up. Um, I'll put her name below. So it, I felt like the clothes didn't quite tie in with my style. However, I know that they've now been taken over Boohoo, which is a good segue into this top. And also my last video, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it already. I had a look on the website because they had a deal for 40% off everything. And no one wants to miss a deal like that. So... I'm gonna get it straight into it and show you what I've bought. So first two items are this top, which is so soft. And if you've seen me in the intro, you know I can I love a skyline. So this is Stockholm. I feel like I've been to Stockholm, so I can wear a Stockholm t-shirt. It's called the Time to Go Stockholm Graphic Tee. Um, it's actually quite oversized. I'll show you it. Damn, probably. Uh, I like my t-shirts a little longer because I've got bigger boobs, so I need them to like cover my boobs and my belly, but this is probably about five inches too long. It's just a bit strange. Um, and then this is also the, the Fierce Attitude Satin Midi Skirt. And I know midi skirts, the satin midi skirt, from Topshop, Zara, they've all been the rage and I've kind of stayed away from them because I feel like satin isn't a forgiving material, but this one is definitely a sateen. Um, and actually isn't as bad as I expected. I think if the t-shirt wasn't doing me over, I do actually quite like it. I think this could be a winner. It's just, I just don't know what to do about the t-shirt because I really like this bit, but I just, I don't understand how it's so long. I guess I could cut it to make it a bit more cropped. Yeah, I'm actually thinking I might keep the skirt. Is it from the back? Yeah. So another midi skirt. It's definitely not satin. But it's zebra print, you can definitely tell that. So this is called Do You Fall Zebra Midi Skirt. Interesting. Um, doesn't flow as, when I kind of move, it's not as A-line as I thought it would be. Obviously back with the Stockholm tee. Just kind of like rolled and tucked up there. But I think it gives me a nice silhouette, especially with these sandals. It is coming almost to sandal weather, months, a few months away. Uh, but if it was anything like last week in the UK, 20 degrees, 21 degrees, sandals are almost back in. Yeah. I, think I might keep this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what size they sent me, I will check, but this is the floral wrap midi dress. I always have issues with the bust area, but not to the extent that the back, it won't even do up past here. Uh, I thought the dress is quite cute in principle. Uh, perfect for summer. Slits, mm, not too high, I guess. I think it's just all kinds of wrong. Like the sleeves I think would have been nice with the tie, but they barely do up over my shoulders. The back doesn't do up. The slit can be quite high. It doesn't flatter me very well. Uh, I just look like a mess. Um, I just, this is the Haken Girl Satin Wrap Dress. Uh, obviously this is an issue again. Wearing a white bra. Other than the fact that I could I could definitely wear like a cami top, it's I don't think it's too much of an issue. And the fact that I probably do have a little too much leopard print in my wardrobe, considering it is a trend and it probably won't come back around for another 10 years or so. Um I I like I love a wrap dress, but what really bugs me is the sleeves. They're just really like baggy. I'm quite petite, I'm five foot two. So they do tend to like, 
Not this much though. I just don't understand why they're so. Are they meant to be this oversized? If it had like a nice cuffed a bit there, I wouldn't mind that it was a bit more baggy. I think it gives like a nice silhouette, but I just. The, the sleeves are putting me off. Uh, I could take them off, I guess. But uh, I'm a less face, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Shame, I really liked it. Oh well. Oh, it's so soft. Oh. This is the It's a Wrap velvet dress. Um, but do you know what? I'm feeling the dress with the shoes. The sleeves are nice. A little bit baggy here, but I can deal with that. Fine. Nice and tight. Oh, the velvet's so soft. Yes, definitely wearing the long bra again. Uh, not sure. I feel like because the belt loops are there, you kind of have to have it with the belt loops. But I feel like when I tie it with the belt loops, it just cuts my body off and it just makes it a bit like, Ugh. Also, it's quite warm. <laughs> I've got the lights on, the heating's going off, but it's quite warm. I feel like it's much more of like a Christmas dress and I don't know why I keep doing this to myself because I bought that pink clove velvet wrap dress which was kind of like this I think it has shorter sleeves but it's too warm now <laughs> it's not really fancy weather however saying that apart from the fact that I just don't like it around my hips it is my birthday month I do need outfits so could this be a birthday dress I just don't think it's going to be suitable when I'm going to a restaurant and I'm boiling. Especially when I'm drinking alcohol or I'm going to a bar and I'm dancing and it's boiling. I'm drinking alcohol. I think it's a no. But it's beautiful. It's really soft. I think it looks nice. The silhouette isn't too bad. Yeah. No. So this is the Touch and Grow wrap dress in black as you can see um another one. if obviously this is always an issue however i feel like this kind of dress you can't really wear a bandeau with it bandeau bandeau or kind of um a crop top or a cami or something i feel like it's a dress that needs to be out on its own very creasable material as you can see i had to go and get the belt but i felt before I put the belt on, I, I really wasn't sure, and then I put the belt on and actually thought it made it a little bit better. I liked it a bit more, but once again, this is an issue. However, I've been moaning about the sleeves and everything, and hello, elasticated cuffs. This is a game changer for me. <laughs> it's just a shame that, I mean, obviously I know how to iron, so I could iron the dress, but... I'd have to pin it here. As I mentioned at the start, it's 50% off everything. So actually this, it makes this dress 17.50 and originally it's 35. And to be honest, I, don't, I wouldn't pay 35 pounds for this dress. Um, at a push, I don't think I'd even pay 17.50. If it was, if it was 15, I know it's only two by 50, but it was 15, I think 10, I would keep it anyway and I'd just be like, I'll just pin it, it's fine, it was a tenner. But 17.50, well I would have paid about 20 quid because I only got the 40% off. I uh, just am not sure. Yeah. I had high hopes for Nasty Girl, I'll be honest. That's it for my Nasty Girl haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I still love this Stockholm t-shirt, but I think because it is an XL, that's why it's longer, but I think when I size checked it, XL was a size 18, but it's just a shame that it's so long. Definitely keeping those two midi skirts. Never have been a person to buy or wear midi skirts because being five foot two, I didn't quite think it was me or it would suit me at all. But I do know Hannah Gale, uh, she wears midi skirts, five foot two the same. She looks fantastic in them. So I'm taking a leaf out of her book. And I'm going to style them up as she does and some sandals and some trainers, get a cute little top on, not this one because it's too long, and see where I go from there. So I'm definitely keeping the two skirts. I think that's it, which is a shame, but I'll see if maybe I can size down in this it's not as long or... So thanks for joining me again. Uh, like, 
comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of the items, which is your favourite. Do you like any of them at all? Is there anything on Nasty Gal that you've been loving at the moment that you want me to check out? If you've got any comments on what videos you'd like to see next, any new hauls or any beauty or skincare videos, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.